Yes, you lot, what you're saying, in this video, we're going to design a high-end streetwear tee. So, high-end streetwear brands can differentiate between styles quite a bit. Therefore, we're going to focus on one specific style for this design, which is vintage graphics. So, the best example of this is Represent Clothing. Luxury streetwear tees within this brand consist of loud, oversized graphics, which usually cover the majority of the t-shirt. For my design, I want to create a surrealist-inspired streetwear graphic, which slightly touches on the face of horror. So we're going to start on an A3 black background, this leaves us plenty of space to size up when printing. I'm going to import this image which I created on mid journey, I really like the high contrast sort of vintage colour tones. Then simply using the eraser with a hardness of 0, I'm going to softly brush around the lips, removing the blue skin which is currently visible. Now we are left with our mouth. I'm now going to import the second image I generated on mid journey which is this eyeball. However, we're going to quickly hide this layer and remove the black layer from inside our mouth. So going up to our select tab, we're going to click colour range and select the black from our mouth using the eyedropper tool. Then, once happy with the selection preview within this window, we'll select OK. This is now selected to black from our image, which we can now go ahead and press delete on our keyboard. Then, unhiding and selecting our eyeball layer, we can place this underneath the mouth layer. The preset for remove background will work perfectly for this, so we're just going to go ahead and select this option. Now, using the eraser brush on Hana Zero again, we're just going to soften the eye outer edges so we have this sort of nice feather effect. I'm then going to select the top section of this tongue and just gently erase a sort of awkward overlapping area. Now creating a new layer above these two, I'm just going to dab a black paintbrush just above the tongue so we can create this sort of 3D effect of depth. I'm actually going to increase the size of this eye and go back to my eraser getting rid of these outer white areas, making sort of more intense alien almost eye. Now I'm happy with the composition, I'm going to select in the mouth layer and once again hit command C on my Mac to copy and then pasting it in place using the edit and paste option. Then we're just going to hide this layer underneath and go to the filter options and then filter gallery. Now I already have this preset created, however it's a combination of grain and the water paper. I think this just does a nice job of increasing the black contrast within the image and adding this sort of posterize effect. Then we're just going to repeat this process with the eyeball layer too. Cool, so I think this design is coming together quite nicely now, so it's time to add a type element. Now I was brainstorming a few brand name ideas for this streetwear brand and landed upon triple six. However, I have only just realized after creating this design that triple is spelled incorrectly. Now I decided on using triple six for the brand name as it's essentially the number of the devil within spirituality, which obviously plays on that narrative of horror. So using this font, which is Nightside, I'm simply gonna type triple and place it just above our graphic. Then we're also gonna type six and play around with the arrangement a little. Now I decided to have six seem as if it's been tattooed on the bottom lip. So I added this color over there black and warped the type to fit the natural curvature of the lip as best as possible. Now with our triple text we're just going to go ahead and rasticize the layer and select filter and then liquify. Now we can experiment with some horror type by just simply dragging down these letters to convey a sort of dripping effect reminiscent of blood. Then some finishing touches like adding shadows beneath our front teeth and the design is complete. So as you guys can see, I decided to place a graphic in a bit of an unusual area. I think this adds to the high end look we were aiming for, which is then complemented with a triple six. This would be embroidered if it was to actually proceed to print. I've mocked up how the design could look if released on various products too, as you guys can see. Let me know if you'd rock any of these products or maybe what you'd do differently in the design. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you lot enjoyed the video, if you did it would mean the world if you could go ahead and just leave a cheeky little like, it just helps the YouTube algorithm recommend my videos. Alright cool, I'll see you lot in the next video, take care, in a bit.